Hi everyone, um, this is Chantal uh, from Chantal Ceramic. Um, today I am going to talk about um, Amico glazes uh, at the PC uh, Pottery Choice. Um, I'm going to talk about the Blue Midnight and also the Indigo Floats. Um, so basically I I uh, have found online, the Amico um, online, uh, a nice um, glaze combination um, combining uh, these beautiful two colors together. Um, so I've created a test tile and instead of putting this um, test tile on like a small tile, I decided to use this um, old um, cup that I made last year. And I marked them from 33 um, all the way up to uh, 37. And uh, so each one of those numbers has like a different coating. And um, because I want it to be on the safe side and not add too much um, uh, layers um, so it doesn't run and basically ruin your piece or your cone shelf. Um, and I basically started using a notebook uh, to record everything. Um, so starting from um, number 33, um, this one, if I go back and have a look, um, we've got number 33. Um, I've got, oh, basically this is made out of stoneware, uh, the clay body is called stoneware 10. Um, so on I've got uh, two coats of Blue Midnight, which this one here, starting with the Blue Midnight. Uh, so I've started with two coats of Blue Midnight and then two coats of Indigo Float. Now with the Indigo Float, the first coat, I went all the way down to the bottom. And then with the second coat, I just went halfway down. And this is how 33 um, looks like. That's number 33. Um, so you've noticed this area is a little bit darker and I think because um, there's only like uh, three coats of Bloom at Night and only um, one coat of Indigo Float. Now going to number uh, 34, I've got three coats of Bloom at Night. Again, with all these two styles I started, they all have three coats of Bloom at Night. Um, now again, three coats of Indigo Float. The first coat all the way down to the bottom the second coat halfway down and then the third one quarter way down and that's number 34. I don't know if you can see much difference again it's a little bit darker in here and again because there's less less coats in there and I do like that color I'm gonna actually take advantage of that so maybe create some uh, lines that are darker and then we, we go with number 35, again, uh, three coats of the Blue Midnight, and then the three coats of Indigo Float, first one all the way down, second uh, one halfway down, third one quarter way down. The only, <clears throat> sorry, the only difference between the 34 and the 35 is I started adding, um, after I finished all the coating, um, thin lines from the top to the bottom of both colors and overlapping just to say see to create some texture so that's number 35 and you notice um, there's a little bit more coloring uh, we still have that little bit of black in here and that's because uh, uh, there's only one coat I think of um, the indigo float but there's nicer texture now um, let's go up to 36 almost there <laughs> 36 um, three full coats of both um, colors, so Blue Midnight, and then I, that's, I was worried, I was like, it's gonna run, but it didn't actually run. So 36 is here, uh, three coats of both all the way down, and I think it's still fine. Um, 37 is my favorite. Uh, with 37, uh, we've got, again, the same as 36, uh, full coats, three full coats of each, but then I added those little bit of lines um, overlapping. And I think this is my favorite because it's got the nice color, but it's got a little bit of nice running here. And I think that got created by um, adding those little lines. I feel it's even safe to maybe go four coats of each. And I think 
with Amica, I've noticed um, more coats you add, um, the brighter the color, the glossier the color is. And um, I like that because I, th I tried another recipe. Um, I think it was ancient, ja ancient Jasper and um, oatmeal. And I only had two cuts of each and it wasn't glossy enough, but I was, I'm just testing because I think with other glazes, you could, they could run and then I didn't want that to happen. But now this is the advantage of having a test tiles because it gives you an idea of what's going to happen to your precious piece that you actually spend so much time on. You don't want to lose it. Um, so you test it on there. So yeah, I'm really happy with those combinations the indigo flow and the blue midnight. I will definitely um, use that in the future. I've started throwing um, mugs um, to use those colors on. Thank you so much for watching and I will keep uploading more videos on my YouTube channel and to show um, using different Amico glazes. I'm obsessed with Amico now. I love it so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.